My oldest son is Nico and he's 15. He'll be 16 in October. My daughter's 13, Selena, and then I have a six-year-old. His name is Esai. When he seems to talk the most about it, um, you know, my daughter definitely, they want to paint their rooms. That's their biggest thing is they want to paint. That, my little one, he wants a garden. <laughs> I have no idea how to do a garden, but he wants one. So we'll figure it out. You know, they'll have little playmates, my littlest one, it's in a cul-de-sac, so they'll be safe to probably ride their bikes, and and it's not far from where I live now, so, um, then when I told them I wanted it, and I knew that they were going to make the decision, it's kind of cheesy, but I went over there and prayed on that street, and then, um, I went grocery shopping at that King Supers the next day. Just, I don't know, just went shopping there because I'm like, well, this is going to be my store. So I'm going to go shopping there. And that was it. <laughs> Starting on my own home, you know, I'll definitely try to be there as much as possible because I want to see every little thing happen and I'm excited because my son will be 16 in October and maybe he can come with me. As far as the sweat equity hours, I don't know if I've been really surprised about anything. I mean, I expected it to be hard and expected it to be a lot of work, so I don't know if I've been surprised. I think maybe the kindness from everybody, I mean, all the volunteers. I mean, I appreciate it all. I know that every other family that has somebody appreciates it. Um, words can't even explain how much that means to somebody to have help getting something that seems so unattainable. So, I guess it is a miracle. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, myself and my children appreciate your lending a hand to help us achieve our dream. We're just thankful.